Hello everyone, uh, this is how the Microsoft Excel window look like. So this version is uh, Microsoft Excel 2016 version. Uh, th this session will be more about understanding the window, various components of the Microsoft Excel window. And then the further discussion would happen into other fundamentals of the Microsoft Excel. Now, if you look at here, there are various components, something like onto the book one, my Excel, there is some search here. There are so many options out here. And then you have got A, B, C, D, alphabets. And then you have on the vertical side, you have so many numbers here. We'll try to understand the overview of the window. Understanding the terms, especially, is very important here. Reason being, tomorrow when you start trying to explain it to somebody, maybe if someone would like to present the options of Excel in, in an exam, this is very important for you to understand various terms of each of this. Some people call it a tab, some people call it a option, some people some people call it a shortcuts, or some people call it various various different options people keep calling. But it's very important that you understand what exactly it is called as. Now here if you look, to start with, the top version of it, this is something called as a title bar, where you see the file name of the uh, file that you have brought in. By default, a Microsoft Excel window has a file name book one. If you would like to save it into your name, you can go to file tab. It's right here. If you go, you can go to the file tab and then you can save the document. How do we save the document and further of the options? We will look forward in the next video. At the moment, try to understand the top version of the Microsoft Wind Excel window is called as a title bar. So this remains same with all the versions of Microsoft, whether it can be Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, or any other Microsoft products that you get into. Top thing, which is there on the top of the window, is usually called as a title bar, right? Once you understand the title bar, now let's try to understand this part. So here you can see that search is one particular option which is seen in the mid of the title bar. On the entire title bar, in the middle of it, you see something called as search. Usually this, this search option is there in the latest versions of Microsoft Excel. Previous versions like in 2000, till 2010, 11, 12, 13, we have not seen this particular option called search, which is available on the title bar. Why do we use this search? If you have more Excel files which are already created in your in your in your you know personal computer, once you're opening with your blank Microsoft Excel, you wanted to search and open the existing file. You can just go type the file name there, and you can see all the files which are similar to that particular file names. And then here you can search the latest files of Microsoft Excel which you have created previously, and you can directly open your existing file from this point. That's that's another option. Then the next one that we have is this, which is called as a quick access toolbar. You can see that there is an arrow button, bottom arrow button, which you have. If you can click onto that, you will see other uh, uh, other options or other buttons, which are a part of a quick access toolbar. As of now, you can see that there is a save button, which is active. There is a undo button and redo button, which are currently inactive. But these are the three uh, buttons which are considered into quick access toolbar. More of such options can be added by the user as and when he wanted. How to add this and from where to add this, we'll again be discussing in the future or for further sessions. After the quick access toolbar is understood, then we see the file thing, the file particular. This is where most of the people get kind of, some people call it as file tab. And then some people call it home tab, insert tab, draw tab. But file specially is considered as a menu. In the latest versions of Excel, for the for last five years, the versions have changed from tabs to ribbons, which is where file is the only particular option, which we usually call it as file menu. And there will be lots of other options under file menu, which includes saving the document, saving as the document, changing the format of the document, opening the existing document, Closing the workbook, all of these options you usually see under file menu. And don't get confused, the home, insert, draw, page layout, formulas, all of these that you have on the top, apart from the file menu, those are not menus. Only file is considered as menus, 
rest of them that are available on the top they are considered as tabs so home is a tab insert is a tab draw is a tab like this all the other things that are available on the top are all tabs only file is considered as a menu next now if you see the area that is blinking the rest of them that we set till now these are all called as tabs but the, now you can see what's highlighted is home tab under the home tab there are so many options here like you have clipboard font alignment you see here you know uh, alignment and then you have number you have got styles cells editing add-ins acro adobe acrobat so on and if you can go here there will be more other options that you can see these are all called as groups and under each group there are options let's take a simple understanding here if you look at alignment as a group where is alignment is grouped under alignment is grouped under home tab under home tab you have got so many groups one of the groups as an example we take is alignment so under alignment group what are all available here wrap text is available merge center is available left tab previous space is available right tab space is available you have got top alignments and uh, center alignment left alignment uh, right alignment the bottom three are considered as horizontal alignments and the top three are considered as vertical alignments so these are all the options that are grouped under alignment similar with number grouped for so many particular options similarly conditional formatting format as stable cell styles these are all grouped as styles so these are all groups under each group there are so many options the next thing the one that is blinking vertically m is considered to be a vertical level which is considered to be a column so m here is considered a column this is something which is known to everybody. Then, then we have the another blinking horizontal part. This is called as a row. So horizontal elements are called as rows and vertical elements are called as columns. If you now, now I've highlighted M column and 18th row. And when, when both of these are intersecting at one point, that's called a cell. And how do you name the cell? As it is under the M column and 18th row, this cell name will become M18. So this cell name will be called as a L, uh, M18. And the cell is defined as the intersection of a row and a column. Clear? And then the next thing, if you see the yellow highlighted box, these are called as ribbons. So when you consider tabs, under the tab you have groups, under the groups you have options, all of these groups and options are combinedly called as ribbon. Now home has a different ribbon. Insert tab has a different ribbon. Draw tab has got a different ribbon. Like this, each and every tab that is highlighted on the red there at the top will have a different tab under each of them. Under each tab, there are so many groups. Under each group, there are so many options. This is how you will understand Microsoft Excel window. Apart from those options that we have discussed, there are more few like this is called as a uh, cell address which is highlighted and the one which is blinking on the orange color, we usually call as a formula bar, which, which actually start from FX if you can see here, this particular box is considered to be a formula bar and specific to A1 that is considered it is a cell address. If you see my cursor which is highlighting this A1 cell, this the, the address of this particular cell is A1 like we have seen the yellow colored cell is considered as M18 because this is an intersection between M column and 18th column <clears throat> then uh, this this is particularly called as a formula bar uh, wherein you type whatever that formula you entered in Microsoft Excel in the particular cell that formula would be highlighted there as you enter the formula in any one particular cell, you'll be able to see that formula there. The output of that formula will be seen in your cell. Let's say, for example, I would say sum of A plus B. 
the answer, the, 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 the output of A plus B will be seen in my cell and the formula will be seen in the formula bar. So whenever you wanted to check what kind of a formula has been given for a particular uh, output in a Microsoft Excel cell, you will be able to see that formula in, you know, uh, formula bar. So these are the various options that we have seen. And then further to this, we can also see below, there is a sheet with the name sheet one, and you can always rename the sheet based upon what kind of a content you have put in the sheet. Similar way, if at all you wanted more number of sheets in the same workbook, then you can go and add a new sheet by giving a click on to the plus symbol. I believe uh, this is pretty clear and these are all the options that we have under Microsoft Excel 2016 window. Each of these options as we practice and as we learn new concepts in Microsoft Excel, we may start using each of these options and that gets a hands-on for each one of you. Thank you.